Yeah, we out here. We out here. Yeah, you already buddy. know. You already know. So, overcoming my fear of the water by being in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, you know, the thing that I'm really thinking about is just doing the next best thing. Like, I don't have to try to be the best at this, but what I can do is allow myself to tap into the zone and, uh, you know, it's really cool just being out in the water as well, just, you know, being out in the middle of nature, in the middle of everything, right? It's, it, and this island, Joey said it so perfectly, man, this island is like, uh, what did you say, Joey? It's like uh, peaceful chaos, right? Peaceful chaos. <laughs> peaceful chaos, bro. <laughs> so, absolutely, man. Taking it so much of the culture already, there's amazing wood carvings and amazing things here, man. And yeah, it's also gonna rain. So we might have to make this a quick one. The basic advice today, today's video is just you gotta basically tap into that fear, man. Because that fear is really what's gonna bring you towards your greatest heights, towards your character, towards your optimization. Like. I know that like my the feeling right now is like I'm, I'm living at my edge, basically. And I think every man needs to experience living at their edge. Because what are you gonna do just being at one place, at the, you know, and just squatting away there, man? You gotta be able to, to traverse this planet and, and all the beauty that it has. I mean, look at this place, guys. So, Island of the Gods for a reason. Baby. Island of the Gods. Okay. Island of the Gods for a reason. And there's so many like protector energies here. We just we just went to the temple as well and we saw the Makaras protecting the temple. So yeah, absolutely phenomenal there. But the mindset for me right now is just just do the next best thing. Just keep one foot in front of the next, just do. Whatever it is that you feel like is the most aligned towards that moment, okay? And as you do that, you'll start to explore the power. The water is so beautiful. The water is beautiful. You know, also this Balinese music kind of puts me into a, a bit of like a, a trance, you know what I mean? Now, my whole history of water is I had a drowning incident when I was really young as a kid. Uh, and I got rescued by my friend named Crit at the time. I like dove head first into a pool, like just, you know, went down a slide and just in the water. So I had like, it's like, I'm basically, this is like me overcoming a childhood trauma, you know what I mean? Which is badass as fuck. Like, that's beast. That's the priest beast way, man. Is like actually going for that one thing, right? Like the core wounding that you, you received as a kid and being actually able to well, <laughs> it's funny to say dive into it, right? <laughs> but in a sense, being able to find out and find true, like what is it really going to teach me? What is the lesson here? How is it gonna allow me to embrace greater parts of myself that maybe are hidden or, or I haven't even experienced before? And you might ask this question of what do I do when you know, shit hits the fan or something's you know, happening that is outside of my comfort zone? You're in your stretch zone, brother, okay? So that means that you're gonna have to stay in the stretch zone away from the panic zone. As you feel protected, like I feel protected because no he's here, he's an experienced snorkeler, as well as the guy who's driving this boat, who, you know, he seems to be doing a pretty good job. <laughs> that gives me also a reassurance. And you gotta have a kind of like a quiet reassurance as a man, as I keep saying. This sense of like, it will all unfold as it should. Let the universe give me whatever needs to happen in this moment. And let me find a way that I will optimize and lean into the greatest version of me so that I show up as that version. You guys get what I'm saying? So that's really what this is about, man. And being at the beach, being at this environment right now. Wow, check this out. Unreal. Damn, this is Unreal, man. Unreal. Showing you guys right here. This is gonna be an amazing experience. Already, it's probably gonna be embedded into my memory bank. <laughs> you know how we have a spank bank? This is like a memory bank, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, this is 
Absolutely. So yeah, guys, if you want to ever overcome your fears, you got to understand something. False evidence appearing real, face everything and rise. Okay, you guys have heard this from motivational quotes probably on Instagram. It's very different living it. It's very different living it. You can hear a fancy quote like that, but until you're actually in the water like this and I'm experiencing this, it's a completely different experience. Okay? So you could talk about, oh yeah, face everything and rise, you know? But until you're actually rising, you're not in it. You're not in the ballpark. You get what I'm saying? So this is what it's gonna... The fear is the cost for your ascension. The fear is just you paying the ticket for the experience that you're going to receive and the downloads and the light codes and whatever else you're gonna receive as a result of you following down and, you know, as a result of you just following your dharma, following your path, your Tao, in a sense. But I think being on this island, we've definitely experienced the Tao in many different ways, many different concepts. Like, for instance, after we had some spicy food last night, we just felt like crashing. <laughs> we were just hot. <laughs> yeah, and like, it was basically like a spiritual awakening with a pepper. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing all the things that, woo! <laughs> we're doing all the things that we knew we would be doing. Joey this morning, it was like, yo, you wanna go snorkeling? Like, go to Blue Lagoon, man? <laughs> and I was like, heaven yeah, let's do this, okay? And I think we're also gonna hit up the sauna and ice plunge. Right? Hell yeah, cold <laughs> man, nice, baby. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna be two polar bears. Desert scorpions in the heat. <laughs> Both at the same time, making a combo of an animal, a hybrid, okay? So back to the fear, man. In a sense, too much anxiety just means that you don't have enough of a skill in something, okay? So I'm a complete beginner in this. I'm like a non-swimmer, you know, going snorkeling. <laughs> And I know it's not really like swimming, it's more so like floating, but at the same time, I think it's it's very empowering to have this kind of mentality too, you know? Because I am very connected to the water, I always have been. So that's what I'm reminding myself of in a sense, you know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm a water sign, I'm a Scorpio. I'm a, you know, I'm a, probably a past Naga in my past life, okay? And so I'm just gonna resonate with that, you know? And whatever, if there's any water dragons, you know, in this environment, let them protect us. And let them, you know, and all the deities that I work with and have my back, including Janus, who's been very, very helpful on this trip because he's also, you know, very associated with travel and marriage and new doorways and awakening. So he's the gatekeeper, man. And that's really also another energy that's keeping me feeling solid, feeling sharp. All right, guys, we're almost here. About to tap into this. If you want, I'm still doing 15 minute free calls with you guys. Just hop on, click the Calendly link, make it easy for yourself, and hop on a free call for Primal Sutra, man. You will never be the same again. Let's go, Upward Spiral Gang. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. <laughs>